we're back. Comes out quick, man. He's ready with the quickness. Why is he all the way off screen? That's like not fair at all. Dude was all the way off screen. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh my gosh, man! It's quick. Don't let you do much. Mm. Almost got him. Yes! Ante's captured. Last one I think is like Suicune or something. I think that's his name, I forget. But it was uh, fire, lightning, and ice or water. Uh, that's Entei's symbol. Please record the figure in your styler. I know it's not good looking, but it records. Your French, your feelings of friendship to Ente. You are now able to call Ente with the ranger sign. Thank you very much for saving me from a dangerous spot. That's what I'd like to say, but I feel like you deprived me of a chance to show my stuff. I'm impressed, Ranger. Lucas. You got Ante to leave, and that works out very well for us. I give you my thanks. Hey! One of you, go get that emblem. Roger! Well now, why don't we do the hostage exchange? We've all been waiting for it. On my signal, we will release both hostages at the same time. No funny business. Three. Two. One. Go! Sorry to be so much trouble. I will definitely repay you for this. Red eyes. I caused a lot of trouble, didn't I? I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. It wasn't a big deal. Well now. The swap went as planned. Our leader! We have the emblem! Great, now our plan is complete. Time to leave. 
so long, Ranger. We'll likely meet again somewhere. If you can stay in one piece at all. Red eyes. It's terrible. <laughs> when we were flying above Oblivia, you protected me from Red Eyes' plasma cannon. Thank you. When I heard the Pinchers talking about you being okay after falling into the ocean, I was so relieved. That's why I knew that you would come to save me. Lucas, thank you so much. Ranger Pose. Still, I'll never forgive them for this. They still have my partner, Pokemon Star Raptor. Pichu! Wow, what a cutie. Why does this Pichu have a ukulele? Could you tell me what's happened? Lucas explains the long story in five seconds. You've been through a lot, haven't you? I hope you find your friend soon, Pichu. I wasn't just sitting there waiting to be rescued. I was blindfolded, so I don't know where it was, but I attached a homing device to their hideout. I can pick up the beacon on my styler. If we do this, we'll know where their hideout is, and we can rescue my partner Pokemon, Star Raptor. But... They broke my styler. We have to fix it. Do we have a place to get it fixed and tools somewhere? That reminds me. Did you meet the Aerial Ranger of Ran? Yes, I did. That's great. We can borrow the tools to repair it from Ran. Please take me there. Lucas, that explosion blocked the exit. What should we do? Are there any other exits? A new sign has been recorded in your styler. What's a sign? Oh, let me show you. Entei? You can call the, leg the legendary Pokemon Entei? Entei might be able to smash these rocks. Don't you know Entei song? giant boulder blocks the way if you can pass go ahead and I say the massive rock says full of sass no one can move my hefty mass the massive boulder is just slow for great ente it's one blow even a huge stone just one blow I learned it from some bored looking pincher who were singing it Build up speed and touch in the direction of obstacle if you want to destroy the boulder with Entei. Alright. Time to draw a new sign. I'd rather not capture anything and worry about that right now. Let's just go home. Escape this place. Get back to the actual road.
Summer! You're okay, I'm so glad! Murph? Why are you here in Oblivia? Professor Hastings gave me an errand to take care of. I came in the Union. The Union? Isn't it the Union that was retired years ago? I didn't know you knew how to sell a ship. Professor Hastings probably wants to toughen me up and make me into a man of the sea. Still, the Union sure is an impressive ship. Even with me at the helm, it managed to get to Oblivia. Oh, that's right, I have some good news. Booker gathered a bunch of people and fixed the bridge. Now you can walk to Rand's house on Rainbow Island. So Murph, the man of the sea, will meet you there. He <laughs> Murph never changes. Let's hurry to Rand's house. Pretty boring walk, but you know, I, I'd rather just walk it out. <laughs> and here we are. Hey, you two, you're too slow. Rand can hardly wait anymore. Welcome back, Lucas. This must be summer then. Marf has filled me in on the details. You've been through a lot. I'm very glad you're okay. Nice to meet you. I'm Summer. I was suddenly caught up and I'm slightly late. I'm Ren. Nice to meet you. This is my wife, Lian. And my daughter, Nima. You've had a very hard time. I'm so glad you're safe. Nice to meet you, Summer. You can leave your Styler maintenance to me. So you might be able to fix my styler? It's not even a problem of whether it can be fixed. If Nima looks at it, it'll be done in the blink of an eye. Wow, you're amazing, Nima. Well, if she could, I would love to have Nima fix the broken washing machine at my house. Nima. Forget about the washing machine, but please fix my styler. If you can fix my styler, we might be able to find the Pokemon Pinchers hideout. What do you mean? I was blindfolded, so I couldn't tell where we were, but I secretly attached the homing device. Great! So if you can pick up the homing device's signal on the styler, you can obtain the location of their hideout. That was a fantastic decision. I may have been blindfolded, but they didn't cover my ears, so I was able to hear a little of the goings on next door. The voices made it sound like we were in some kind of tightly closed space. What were they talking about? It was something about preparations for seizing Moltres are proceeding. The Pinchers are trying to pinch the legendary Pokemon Moltres? What for? Anyway, if we can figure out the location of their hideout, we can stop their plans. 